What's happening, my people? So this is season 10, episode 2 of The Walking Dead. And I don't think this uh, episode of me is going to be too, too long. This episode is called We Are the End of the World. And it's basically, it's an Alpha episode. And it shows Alpha's path, how her and Lydia was living beforehand, and how she ended up meeting Beta, and the beginnings of their group, uh, per se, or whatever. So, my first thoughts watching this, this uh, episode, the beginning of the episode, it, it was pretty lit. That death right there, they had some woman that had crashed her car. And man, the walkers got a hold of her ass. That was one of the most gruesome deaths that I've seen in a while. On there, they they ripped her nose off her face and stuff. I was like, God damn. So, Alpha and Lydia is with in the group, and Lydia ends up ah, she ends up screaming and shit. So they have to they have to duck off and find find a refuge somewhere. So they get inside this building and they see this big big giant dude. And so they ends up being beta. And they're like, uh, they're like, are you a monster or something? And he doesn't want them there, but they end up, he ends up letting them stay for a day. And so in between that time, they, they had gonna have a few interactions and stuff. So that's the past stuff. Then they show stuff that's going on in current times. And so they have this girl that's in their group. And she the one that got the baby took away from her. And uh, the deaf girl ended up saving that that uh, baby last season. So she's starting to trip out on the fact that she lost her baby. And so she's just starting to like doze off, be, into the, be in the cloud somewhere. She just daydreams and stuff. And her sister tries to look out for her. But it just don't seem to be working, man. Like she's just going crazy because the fact that she lost a, lost a child. And she she endangering the rest of the group because she's she's making a lot of uh, a lot of actions that's that's messing up the, the herd or whatever. So she could get everybody killed. So they have to go through that. They end up bringing her back to the camp, man, and they like, well, bitch, what's wrong with you? We kill your ass. Alpha ends up saving her. She like send her to me. So she she get her in a cave and she. Put her hand, so I'm like, oh, she about to rip her head off, man. She she about to cut her head off, do something crazy. And you see, you hear homegirl screaming, ah! But she walks out. Alpha shows her mercy. Alpha doesn't show no mercy. Thing about it is, Alpha, I think she reminiscing. She's seen, and you see in this episode that Beta had a connection. He didn't want to leave that place that he was at. It was like an asylum or something. And he had a son. I'm guessing that was his son. So he didn't want to leave him. So he had that connection with him. Alpha had Lydia. And she still she still wants Lydia back. Like she, she tries to, to cover it up and stuff. But you see toward way at the end of the episode, Beta has to go track her down. Like she has like a little place with the old camp. She goes visit there because she may be hoping Lydia goes back. And so she got to try to cover those feelings from Beta because she's not supposed to show love for anything or whatever but she does she loves Lydia so I guess in the back of Alpha mind she has a little bit of compassion for this girl losing her baby so she's trying to give her a chance so she gives her asylum or whatever they go back in the past they show past uh things and they show like moments of when uh Alpha fighting the walkers and Beta saved her in the the first moments of whenever she would she cut up the walkers and and would put the the guts and stuff on and stuff and she would, would explain it to beta like we're all monsters and this is how we survive and this and so that was her philosophy and her philosophy end up he he was kind of crazy too so they end up bonding together in a kind of way so that was their common thread so Later, at the end of the episode, Lydia, when she was a little girl, she wanted to not be scared. She wanted to be strong like a mother. So she ducked off in the middle of the night. Alpha went chasing after her. And in doing that, I think they freed they freed uh, Beta's son. And so Beta ended up, they end up having to kill the son. And, and Beta like, oh, I told y'all not to go come up here. Get out. And so she talks to him and she's like, 
I know we're, we're the same. We can walk in the darkness. Walk in the dark with me. I can't leave him. So what she, what he ends up doing is you you don't have to leave him. You can take him with you. So she, he cut his face off. So that mask that he wears that only covers like this, that's his son's face. So that's why Beta walks around with that. Uh, that girl that Alpha saved, she ends up snapping in the middle of the thing. She sees the uh, that comet, well, that that uh, satellite from the last episode, and it, so it was like a time jump. It was like showing what happened at that time period, and so she loses her shit, and she was, she jumps on Alpha in the middle of the pack, and where Alpha is, and uh, homegirl sister ends up saving Alpha instead of her instead of her sister. So she gets ate up. So Alpha ends up rewarding her by naming her a Gamma. I think that's what she called it. Gamma? Is that what she called it? But uh, something like that. So she ends up saving and saving her, giving her a title. And she and Beta is like, why are you showing favor to her? She's not going to replace your daughter and this and that stuff. That's my daughter. I'm going to get her back. I think that's what she... But she was like, she was like, I'm, I'm gonna get my daughter back. But then she, she's like, I can't let him know that she's dead. I mean that she's alive or something. The pack, some shit, some weird shit. So the end of the episode, they end up. It ends up being the end of last episode. That time whenever Beta, whenever Alpha, walked out of the woods and looked up and seen Carol. That's how this episode ends. So, all that they went through last episode. It happens on this time frame in episode two. So they used to do that a lot on the old seasons of going back in the past and just showing the same day, but with different characters. I don't like when they do that. And then I didn't get to see Daryl, Carol, my favorite characters and stuff that's still alive. Michonne, a little ass kicking in them. So I didn't like this episode. It's cool to see uh, they, they backstory, I guess. My uncle, he, he was saying, he was saying, I think she's the coldest villain so far and stuff. I think she has like one of the most interesting uh factors of fighting and stuff because they walk with the walkers with the dead and stuff. But to me, it's still Negan. To me, it's still Negan. I like Negan and he's he's charismatic and stuff. The thing I didn't like about the Negan saga was it took like three seasons. They drug it out too long. So I hope they don't drag this out too long. But I still think Negan was the best villain. But uh Alpha, we we gonna see how this goes. But I ain't gonna lie, man. The first two episodes I haven't been too crazy about, man. But like, comment, subscribe. Be the greatest and the most hated, man. Peace out.